So Cliff had been living chained up to a very small hutch for the first three weeks of his life. It basically looked like a little wooden dog house. It was just very sad. His tail had been broken somehow and it hadn't been treated. So he has like a crooked base to his tail. So we know that's sort of the experience that he was having at the farm. It was very sad. On the farm, they had named him Dipstick, which is not a nice name. We rescued him last year in dairy farming. If you're born a male calf, you're considered sort of a waste product. You're not valued at very much money and typically farmers just want to get rid of them. Some people just end up killing the calves that they don't want or sold really cheaply for cheap meat. But it's likely that he would not have been allowed to live much longer. I remember the van pulling into the barn. We opened the van doors and he was just teeny tiny. He's like huge little eyes. He looked like a baby deer. He was super, super like light tan at the time. And he was just trotting around, super confused. He didn't know what was happening. Obviously this is like a little baby who's been taken away from his mom almost immediately and then left alone for a lot of the time. But there was a lot of people at the sanctuary to meet him the first time he came. So he was immediately very excited and just interested in everything that he saw in the stall and everyone who came to see him. It was just like a whole new world. All the cows were sort of peering over the other stall gates from a distance because they wanted to know what was going on. He had a lot of energy. So he was just doing laps in the stall. He was very excited, going from person to person and just zooming around because this is the first time that he could really do that. And then of course, if he's a baby, so he got tired really fast and it was like ugh, immediately nap time. It was a lot of work because babies need to drink a lot. And so he had a lot of scheduled feeding times to make sure that he was fed properly, but it was really really good to see him feel safe and energetic and just like really enjoying being able to live and not be chained up somewhere. Joe and Mikey and Maybell were all sort of like, who is this kid? But when we actually let he clip in with his group after a few months, Mikey was like, I don't know about this guy. <laughs> He's just like a little kid and he wanted to use Mikey as a scratcher and he had like a lot more energy than the rest of them, but they all got to know him and made sure that he knew that they were in charge. But now he's a really comfortable part of this group. He's very big now. He's very confident. Um, he still likes following people. We love him. It's been really nice to see him grow up and join a group, a calf who never got to meet his mom and then in the group he's in now, we have some cows who were rescued from dairy who had all their kids taken away. So being able to connect those two groups is always really lovely.